Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. So without further ado, let's get straight into your reading and pull your Angel Answer card for the week. So what do we have for Aquarius? Please, Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Aquarius for the week. Thank you. Message for Aquarius for the week. Okay, two cards on the table. So we have ask for help from others and remain positive. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards, Aquarius, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, you know, by now. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, and it will be... 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. Thank you. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. Okay, Aquarius. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Advice from Spirit, we have the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, all Cups energy, a lot of Cups energy, uh, which is to do with emotions and feelings. Um, five of Cups is your near future outcome. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Aquarius? Thank you. 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. Thank you for our lovely Aquarians. So I've got the Seven of Swords. The Four of Swords. And the World. Bottom of the deck is Death. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Aquarius. <laughs> There's a immense message of remain positive and ask for help from others. Take advice where you need to take advice. Um, So the Ten of Wands, um, Eight of Cups. So this can be an energy of somebody walking away, um, saying goodbye. It feels something has ended. Uh, and, and this is the challenge. I mean, the Ten of Wands is burden, you know, burden that may have built up over so some time and maybe choosing to walk away to release the burden because in the challenge position, this can be about releasing burden. Um, Yeah. Now the Seven of Swords in this energy, Aquarius, is to do with, it can be a card of deception, lack of truth. Um, yeah, in, in the challenge position, it can also... It, it can also be to do with um, yeah it, it just feels in the situation it's I'm trying to kind of like find the words for it self-deception or not having the clarity on how you're going to how to move on from this i mean you know it can also be somebody secretly thinking about walking away 
There could be an energy of, of someone keeping something to themselves, someone secretly thinking about walking away. And this is the challenge. It feels like there is a consideration here that someone's giving. I'm going to clarify this Seven of Swords. Yeah, I mean, you know, I have, yeah, it kind of feels like breaking free. Uh, someone wants change, you know. It's a consideration before this tower happens in the challenge position. So this is about, you know, the clarity or the needing to get clarity, but they haven't quite made up their mind in the challenge position to do with something that challenges you. But it feels like you haven't quite made up your mind here, Aquarius. And there's definitely an energy of, of someone thinking about walking away from something because the burdens, they want to release the burdens. But this, there's an energy of clouded judgment here. I don't quite have the clarity to make a decision right now. But it's to do with, bring, it feels to do with bringing about a tower moment, you know. Um, it, it, there's a potential for that tower moment to happen from by these actions now this could be you this could be somebody who is you know close to you could be in terms of love romance relationships there's definitely an energy of someone is considering bringing big change to their life because they've been challenged and they're exhausted and you know, it feels one more thing and it's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Because this is about giving deep thought. It's also about recovery, maybe having time to think. But it is an energy of giving deep thought to how you want to take action. And this is to do with the Seven of Cups choices. But these are karmic choices. Uh, the choices with the Seven of Cups have consequences. So this is about giving really deep thought to a situation. Because you know the ramifications of what this decision means. But this is new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. So it's a forward moving energy. Uh, it's, it's an energy of... of uh, opportunity, choices, which door do I go through now? It feels that you haven't quite made up your mind, but you're giving deep thought to it. Yeah, now this Five of Cups, it can be about regrets. Uh, so the cards are saying there could be something that either you could regret or somebody else could regret. Let's clarify this Five of Cups. Yeah, which is the, the liberation, the new path, the new chapter. Someone is regretting. Uh, it feels someone might regret the decision they make. Hmm. Because the Five of Cups can be an energy of uh, looking back, regret, feeling down, somebody regretting their actions. Um, and it, it definitely feels in this energy. There's a feeling of all is not lost here, Aquarius, and to give something another look. Uh, because it's almost kind of like uh, if you liberate yourself from this situation now, it, it doesn't feel like you're it feels like there are consequences that you'll regret. The world card can be a card of completion, stepping through to the next phase of your life. So drawing a line under something, completing. Um, and the death card can be to do with endings. Uh, this is card of out with the old, in with the new. So a lot of these are kind of like endings and new beginnings, but there's regret right in the middle of this.
So let's get an advice card. I've got the death card here again. Um, the death card is the Phoenix Rising card. Um, it is an energy of out with the old, in with a new, shedding an old skin. Purging. Um, but there's definitely an energy here, Aquarius, that all is not lost here. Um, you're really being told to choose wisely because these... It feels someone might make the wrong decision. Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. I'm going to pull one more. Oh. Okay, so I've got quite a few here. I've got the King of Cups, so that's a relationship here. Um, the High Priestess, the Emperor, and the Seven of Swords. There's a kind of energy here. You don't have the full clarity to take, to take the initiative, um, to take authority of the situation. You know? moon in Aquarius you don't have the full clarity here and this can be a card of self-sabotage uh, the again the Empress is an energy of taking control and the high priestess is very much about trusting your instincts it feels in this situation your instincts are telling you something here um, and again the seven of cups is I don't have the full clarity to make this decision or choice and I feel if you do make some kind of decision or choice because the fool in a way can be a spontaneous decision you know uh, there's an energy of spontane spontaneity with this if you act spontaneously here and make some kind of decision or choice it feels that you might regret it and it feels like it's ending something drawing a line under something Yeah, because that um, the pages are all about learning, you know, and um, they can be messages to do with um, opportunity, you know, so financial, career, so on and so forth. But uh, the page essentially can plant new seeds for future growth. Uh, it can be about learning something as well, maybe learning the value of something as well. It feels like there is some... Uh, the cards are kind of like saying there's a... whether it's a valuable lesson here that somebody might learn. It, it feels in this situation, Aquarius, if someone acts spontaneously in choosing to walk away, the thing is they don't have full clarity of the situation now and they might make the wrong decision. And it might well be a decision that somebody regrets. That's either you or somebody close to you. So the message is remain positive and maybe talk it out with other people before acting spontaneously. Because again, there's an energy of you might end up with regrets. You know, and the world can can sometimes, well, it generally represents I'm stepping through to a new phase of my life, but it generally with the world as a completion energy, you know, the, the death card can be wiping the slate clean energy. It can be an ending of one phase and starting anew with another, but it, it can be a wiping the slate clean energy. But with the world card, it's a card of I am stepping through to a new phase of my life from the decision I'm making. And the world card is you don't go back. So there's definitely an energy of, of, you know, be very careful about making some kind of spontaneous decision because you might regret it. And it's either you or someone close to you. Because there's definitely an energy throughout this reading of somebody doesn't have the full clarity here. And you really need to give something some deep thought. Because not everything is clear right now. And it might well be your instincts are telling you that you need to give something some more thought before making a choice and wait for things to come clear. 
Okay. Interesting reading, but that's what I'm getting. Won't be for everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Cards are what they are, you see, the phoenix. <laughs> So we have uh, Empower, Fire Activations Bring Creative and Spiritual Freedom. Yeah, this is... Uh, you might regret ending this. So the message is just wait until things become clear. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.